Hello. How's everybody doing this afternoon? Good, I hope. Going to be making a Christmas cow wreath today. If I don't see your comments, hi Joy, I will check out at the end. Hi Levon, how are ya? We're going to be making a country Christmas wreath today using this sign. This is from Jane's Front Door Decor. She is on um, Etsy. I don't know if any of you have seen her signs, but I absolutely love this one because it's got chickens in it and they have little Santa hats on them. And actually, this cowl has a scarf that kind of resembles this ribbon. So we're going to use that. And I am working with a black wreath today. And my reason for doing that is I tried several things. I could have done this on a pine, but I like the way this pops against the black. Hi, Cecilia. How are you? So this is what we're going to be working with today. Can everybody see it okay? All right. So what I'm starting out with is 18 inch ruffles. And I'm going to place 10 around the entire wreath. So here we go. I always fold mine a little bit on the end just to keep the fraying underneath, if at all, if it does fray. This is actually um, 10 inch mesh from Hobby Lobby. I got this when I was in New York. It's the fabric mesh. So anytime I use the fabric mesh, I make sure that my base is stiff because this stuff tends to like flop down and I like it to sit on top, so. Hi Dawn. Dawn or Levine, if you wouldn't mind um, posting the um, link to our new group. We have a paid group. And at the end, I will show you a couple of things that we did in our group. Thank you, dear. We actually um, meet like twice a week. If you can't meet the days that we're meeting, that's okay. It's recorded. making sure you can see okay. Let's see. There, if I pull it down that way, it looks like you get a better view. This is the Buffalo Check. Again, this is 10 inch fabric mesh from Hobby Lobby. Cut it 18 inches. Hi, Rachel. How are you? The sign is from Jane's Front Door Decor. And I checked with her before I jumped on. She only has one of these signs left. But I let her know I was gone live. And hopefully she can add more. We've got a few members right now. Lori being one of them from Hardworking Mom. So there is eight designers in our group. And 
and we've got tons of years of experience between us all. Everybody has different um, different decorating ideas, so it is going to be fabulous because we're going to be working on all different kinds of um, small ideas for Christmas gifts, painting, sign making, wreaths. Oh, I have to show you what we did. Where is it? This is some of the stuff we did when I designed last Friday night. I put this little towel in here so you can see it. Isn't that adorable? And check this out. I put my kids on a mug. And we did an ornament. Whoops. Isn't that cute? And I sent a decal off to everybody in the group, so everybody in the group got to do one. Oh, and the first time I did the, I designed, we made these. And then Dawn made a wreath that went with the gray one. And all these are always on there, so you can check at any time. I even... Check that out. I even put my logo on a candle. Isn't that adorable? Lots of surprises coming up. So I think it's something you wouldn't want to miss. And I even decked out the cow that I'm going to put on here. I made him a little Santa hat. I love the way this red pops against this black. I have to move that one over a little bit. Rachel, the mesh is from um, Hobby Lobby. It's 10 inch. It's cut in 18 inches. Thank you, Sandy. Welcome. Dawn's one of our designers with um, Read the Core by Dawn. And Levon is on there. Oh, I'm trying to remember everybody's pages. Forever Yours by Levon. Then we've got Susan with AC Inspired Reese. We've got Rita from Rita's Wreath Barn. We've got Tequila from Unbereathable. We've got Sandy. Can somebody remind me of Sandy's page? Um, da, 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 da. I just know Sandy does Chocotour and it's amazing. In fact, I shared a link to her live from last night. Dawn's going live on her page tonight and Tequila's going live on hers. I think this afternoon, Carla with One Stop Boutique. All right. So there's 10 of the uh, buffalo check. All right. Check this out, okay? I found this little cow. Let me cut off this tag. Okay, I'm going to get him on here somehow. I added a little bell with a little tie on there. And then I handmade him a little Santa hat. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so we're going to put that on his head. I hate to do it, but i got to glue it. The chickens had little Santa hats on in the sign, so he had to have a Santa hat too. 
and I'm going to bend it down here and glue it to the side so it stays like that. The whole time I'm doing this, I'm I'm looking at the sign with the um, the little chickens with their Santa hats on, and I thought, wouldn't that freak my husband out if I went and made Santa hats for our chickens? First of all, they wouldn't they wouldn't leave it on. <laughs> I just thought it would be so cute for him to walk out there and see Santa hats on the chickens. There we go. Doesn't he look festive? Oh, and I even found a cowbell. So I'm going to put that in here somewhere. I'm not sure where yet. But I thought this guy can sit up top here. And then we can put our sign on down in here somewhere. Okay. Yeah, and that mesh, I still have a lot left. So, when you use a pine wreath like this, you can really, um, you can make several with one ro roll of mesh. Okay, so now let's see. I know I have some silver wire. Here we go. I have been down here cleaning my classroom all stinking morning. I want to put this on because this will determine where I'm going to put everything. And Jane is awesome. When you order the signs from her, she will put the holes wherever you want them. Hi, Paula. How are you? So I asked for one in each corner. I had a little jewelry tool and it's not working. And I thought in cleaning my room I'd be able to find the needle that I use to pull this through. And no such luck. We'll just put him there for now. Little beanie baby. Actually, I should have took out the beans and then stuffed them. Make it lighter if it ships. I can always do that. This wreath even has a set of battery operated lights. Paulo used um, 10 inch mesh, cut it 18 inches. So we've got 10 ruffles on this black pine wreath. I'm really trying to make some of mine one of a kind. And I figured probably won't have much luck finding a black wreath right now. So that's why I used the black base because I wanted the sign to pop and it really does against the black. It didn't really pop. And it, it, it would look okay on the green. But if you made this yourself, if you bought the sign from Jane's Front Door Decor, you could um, also put, a black, put it on a black base. It doesn't have to be a black pine wreath. I just like the way it popped. had some cows too to place on here and found them in my other craft room yesterday and now now I can't locate them so we're gone with one
hey, hey, Carla. There's Carla. She's another one of our designers in our paid group. You get all eight of us for the price of one. And boy, did Carla share a lot of Christmas gift ideas Monday night. Expensive Christmas ideas. I'm doing great. Got the craft room cleaned and I'm almost done with the classroom. So I feel like I've accomplished a lot today already. And then when I was cleaning the, cl the classroom, I found this sign and I'm like, you've been wanting to do a cow wreath for a long time. Do it. So I'm doing it. Just wish I could find the needle to pull this through. Makes it so much easier. There we go, one more. And like I said, Jane will poke the holes in the sign for you. It asks you during the listing whether you want one, two, three, or how many. So, I bought quite a few from her. I like some of her um, country Christmas ones. I decorate country and primitive, so I really enjoy some of her signs. Thank you. It's a cow with some chickens sitting on top. And then we went and decked out this little guy. He's going to go on there. I made him a little Santa hat. Okay, so we're going to put him up in here somewhere because I'm going to put the bow down there. So let's work on the tails. And I also have a cowbell to put on, courtesy of my local, local, um, okay, so we've got these two, and this kind of matches, this one kind of matches his scarf, because he's got the snowflake on the scarf and the two colors, the red and black, so really looks good. I have balls I can put on here. I've got snowflakes I can put on here. Then we have, look at this. Thank you. We've got the cow spots and this white and red plaid. We are going to deck this cow out. And I did start putting some of my items on Etsy. Um, I have to list the gnomes on there next. But I did get the reindeer on there and the reindeer wreath. And see if you were in our group, you could learn how to make those gnomes. Check that out. I love the cow spots. And they really look good against this buffalo check. Nope, we want this one next. Yep. These tails are cut at 12 inches. So it's an 18 inch, I think it's an 18 inch wreath base, 18 or 20 inch 
black pine wreath. And the sign again is from Jane's Front Door Decor. She's on Etsy. It's showing she's got one of these signs left, but I let her know I was doing this in case anybody wants the sign. And like I said, you don't have to put this sign against a black pine wreath. That's my choice. You could definitely use black, a black base with the um, buffalo check on top. I tried the white and black, but that kind of just didn't do the sign justice. Because the sign is mostly white, it looked better against the red. And somehow we're going to incorporate either balls or snowflakes and a cow and a cowbell in here. A good old country Christmas. Now, are most of you do most of you um, do wreaths, signs, sewing? What's your what's your pleasure? What kind of crafts do you like to do? Hi, Sandy. There's Sandy. There's another one in our group. She does chalk couture. Sandy, I couldn't remember the name of your page. I drew a blank. I think I'm going to leave one of these off, and I think I'm going to put the bow down here. I think that's where the bow is going. So we're going to leave one off. Okay. <laughs> you having anything good for lunch? I did go back and watch the replay from your live last night. I did share it. All right, so we're going to put our bow right there in the middle. This guy is going to sit up here. See, I decked him out with a little bow and a bell, and then I made him a little little hat. So I think I'm gonna put him over there. So you know what, I may end up putting my bow here. So let me take this one off. Oh, that sounds really good. I love fettuccine. And with broccoli. Oh. Wow, that really sounded good. Oh, I think he looks so cute up there in the corner. All right, let's see how we can get him on here. I don't want to hurt him. So, um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm going to use some deco mesh to tie him down. Yeah, because that'll kind of disguise him. So I'll tie this here, and then I'll loop it through the... here. I love the sacks. They were really cute. 
I want to learn more on how to do that. And I can't wait for your, your live in our Zoom call on Sunday. Because I missed it while I was away. So I'm glad I get to see it. All right, there he is up in the corner with his little Santa hat. Chickens have Santa hats on, so he had to, too. Okay, now I have snowflakes I can add here. I have Christmas balls. what I want to do. I know I want to put the bell. I think I'm going to put the bell right here. Isn't that cute? I know. I heard so many neat things about it. So I can't wait. Let's see. I have little, little balls. I'm just trying to visualize what will work better. I even have some cotton. Oh, I don't like the cotton. Alright, I also have these snowflakes too. Let's try one of these. I think I like that. Or bigger balls. Or two small balls. Yep. I think that's what we'll do. A big ball with two small balls with a snowflake in between. So I don't have them falling all over. We're going to just do them up in there. Oh, yeah. I like the, the solid colored big ball. And then we'll put that in there. And then do a solid ball over there with two of the smoky colored balls over there. Oh, yeah. I am so loving this. Snowflake there. How'd that get there? Then we need one more ball over here with two smoky colored balls. And then the bow right there. And maybe we'll put some of this down here with the bell. Oh, yeah. You know, sometimes when you sit here and you design it in your head, it never comes out the way you want it. I am loving this. This is coming out way better than I thought it would. All right, let's get rid of this. And let's get some balls on. Um, you know what I have? I have this decorative trim that's red, and I think I will use this for the balls. Yep. I don't know if you guys can see it so far. What do you think so far? Isn't that awesome? I'm loving it. All right. 
like I said, these always pop off when you don't want them to. And now when you do want them to, they won't pop off. Just checking you're all did I put you all to sleep or what it's not going through there very well all right we will get a silver pipe cleaner you could see my room it just looks so straightened up and neat right now can't believe it all right here we go come on there we go all right now i am going to glue tops on these. I'm trying not to burn myself. You gotta fish this little thing in there. And of course my little needle nose on in here. I am just going to glue at the base. Not going to go there again. <laughs> I just want to make sure I wasn't putting everybody to sleep. I know it's nap time. I could use a nap after all the cleaning I've been doing the last couple of days. There. Boop. What's going to happen? Come on. Yes, it would, wouldn't it? I do have a pair upstairs. I have um, the black and white. What the heck? There we go.
I will find that needle before my next live. This, I'm just going to slide right down in here like that. Got to always have a little glitter in your design. Just a little. that little hat. And then we'll make the bow. You mean me, Sandy? My husband is. I am not. I'm running five businesses out of my home. <laughs> he wants me to retire, but I told him I'm not ready to retire. one you just glued. Oh, the vine you're talking to. Sorry. Those sitting, it almost looks like Mickey Mouse. And it looks like. Chad just posted a video of Little Miracle. Y'all remember Little Miracle? One room, Sandy, and my classroom is, I'd say, over half done. So, I'm getting there. All right, we got one more snowflake over here. craft room looks awesome upstairs, my craft slash sewing room. Getting ready for the angels, all the 
parts to the angels will be coming in. And when I go, when I'm the next designer, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show everybody how to make my angels. My design, of course. And um, can't wait. Yep, his bow tie is coming undone here. There we go. All right, one more. It's just so good to have everything organized. It's funny. It's it's kind of like a catch-22. You organize your room, then you make a craft, and it's messed up, and then you got to go back and clean up again. It's just clean up craft, clean up craft. Never ending, but I've got so many people wanting classes, and this place has just been a disaster area. And I just, you know, I gotta post the classes, but it's like, no, you gotta clean up your room first. So, all right, and then I think we'll attach these above the bell, and we'll start on our. Actually, yep. All right. There she is so far. And, I don't know if you can see it, but we also have lights on it, too. Alright, so let's start our bow. Now I'm going to use the same ones I used for the tails. Actually, let's just set that up like that. This first. Besides our group, I get to find out the sex of a new grandchild this weekend. Isn't that exciting? Susie, did you go play the lottery yet? Sue is cubby of the month. And I'm going to use this. And she won November's wreath kit. She found a sign in her 
wreath kit that she ordered from Hardworking Mom. Told her she needs to go play the lottery. Right, Sue? it easier to grip this as opposed to the wire. Sue has Merrick Memories. Paying attention. I need to scoop my tails up there. There we go. I think you need to do it soon, so <laughs> your luck has been running really good this these last couple weeks. Then when you win, we'll have a mini wreath retreat. We'll all come to visit.
<laughs> It'll be fine.
ribbing a little soft. Okay, cheek dust, we're good. And like I said, I don't think you can see it, but there are lights. There we go, our country Christmas. done. What do y'all think? Thank you. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, Carla. Thank you all stopping by and joining me. Thank you, Sandy. Again, the, the sign was Jane's front door decor. Thank you, Sue. Now, do you, who didn't see what we made in our group? Trigger the gnome. This guy's gone on a wreath next. Okay, we showed how to make those, and then Dawn put them on her wreath. And then last Friday night we did this. Thank you, Rachel. And then we made these. And I sent everybody one of these to try it at home. Look at this, reindeer. We're going to fill this with candy and give it as a gift. Thanks, Dawn. And look at this guy. We need him, too. Just about show you what we do in our group. What else? Oh, this. A little votive. those videos stay on there all the time so you have access to them when I design next we're going to be doing angels what's everybody else doing did you get yours yet Sandy Susan found her she was throwing it out with the trash Does anybody have any questions? Is there anything that you've been working on that you've found to be extremely frustrating and you need some help with it? kind of stuff we do in our group. Lori's in our group. We have Pam. She's from the West Coast. We have Rebecca from the East Coast. Oh, check it out. The lights are starting to blink now. You can see it better from the back because <laughs> it's not dark. Won't that look pretty at night? <laughs> I wonder if Tequila got hers. There's eight designers in our group. What did we do Monday night? I showed you some ideas with some 
Trash Your Treasure, and um, Carla showed some really unique um, Christmas gifts, inexpensive Christmas gifts. Is there anything you want to see upcoming? You having trouble with bows? Like, let me know what you're what you'd like. And if you want to re to be put on my email list, um, private message me your um, your email address. Ooh, that would be nice, Peggy. Um, whenever all the stuff comes in, Sandy, it should be in. I'm hoping, like, you know, probably not. You're, you guys are going on Monday night, and then somebody's scheduled for Friday. So whenever... I'm not going to do any more stuff on a live that um, I want to keep it in our group. So I'll just be doing simple stuff on my live, on my lives. And then um, I'm saving that for the group. That will just eliminate some of the problems I've been having. Keep it on the group. Keep it closed. Show the end result. And we're good. Okay, guys. I think that's it. Look for me. I will try and do Second Chance Saturday. I can't promise. Because... Um, Things are crazy, and we have the big reveal party on Saturday. I find out what my grandbaby's going to be, a girl or a boy, due in February. So, there, Carla added our, our um, the link to our group. We'd love to have you join us. We have so much fun. We do everything on Zoom calls, so it's not like Facebook where you type and you wait for an answer. We're all face-to-face. -face. You get to ask any questions that you have. It's a lot of fun. Lori even pops on occasionally. And she's been helpful, too. So, really, you get nine of us for the price of one. Isn't that awesome? not read without my glasses. Oh, okay. Put it, I'll pin it. I know, I've been back and forth with these angels. There we go. Is that the right one? Looks like it. There. I pinned it to the top. So if anybody wants to join, we'd love to have you. And I would suggest going to the bathroom before you get on because sometimes we get to laughing so hard you don't want to wet yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a lot of fun it's a small intimate group where we just we just enjoy each other's company a whole lot alright guys you enjoy the rest of your day and I thank you for your support in joining me I'm, I'm I hope we get to see you on our group and there we go country Christmas all ready to go all right, guys, you have a great evening, and thanks for joining. Love y'all.